the run back for today too. Yeah, and last week, like we were saying. And, but, the, and <laughs> it's a little rivalry, actually. You're right, because I think their their rivalry started at uh, the grand finals from Zeno. Mm -hmm. That was when uh, Jewel took it over Mr. E. Yeah, that was his first uh, Jewel's first Zeno, right? Yeah. Very early on in the game, it was definitely a treat to watch. Nonetheless, um, <laughs> Jewel is coming out swinging right now. Oh, this is yeah, bad. No oh, jump. Yeah. You can make it back, but no, mm -hmm. hard punch with that. Okay, it takes some fuel out of that. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, here we go, making okay. it back to the okay. stage. And uh, damage is not something that Robin struggles with. Like, Robin hits you and you feel it every single time. It's a truck. <laughs> yeah. Like, you get hit pretty hard uh, fighting against Robin. You know what? I think I'd say that Robin is like, she's she or he is with Arson when he has the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Levin's sword is Arson. Levin, Levin's sword is Arson. <laughs> yeah, that thing is pretty strong. <laughs> All right, you know, save your fourth throw. Now, this is good. You see uh, E keeping uh, Jewel in disadvantage, able to put on a lot of damage, and even able to get that grab to put him right back off stage. Can you make it back? Oh, yeah. he's soft for much time. Okay, that's mm. good. Nice, and that immediate up B not putting Jewel in a situation where uh, he may have skipped the ledge. Yep. So that was smart on his behalf. And the up air. Couldn't find the landing. Jewel was, uh, was struggling trying to find the landing. Because yeah. Mr. E, like, not only that he's good with uh, less trapping, but he's also good at trapping landings as well. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we didn't see in the, in their winner's bracket match. Uh, e did not do a good job of juggling Jewel. Oh my god, do you have a jump? Killed. Yeah. If he got hit again, he probably would have died. Yeah. But yeah, E didn't do a good job of juggling Jewel in their uh, winner's bracket match. You can see even in that first stock, uh, E is doing a better job of doing it. Oh, this input. Okay. You know yeah, what? That would have been really was, cool if like the side beat would drag him down with mm -hmm. Back air, not killing yet, but one more should do it. Oh, my God. Dunk. Good oh, no, tech, dunk. but no book. Yeah, no more. Out of fuel. Great tech, but no book. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> That's nonetheless, really nonetheless, uh, he taking a really uh, a commanding lead right now. 22% sent on his second stock. Jewel sent on his last stock. But I mean, like we said before, Jewel is. <laughs> this is not something Jewel can't do. We've seen him come back from a three stock deficit. So exactly, uh, he could definitely come back from this. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he's able to stay solid or if uh, Jewel's a, uh, E is able to close it out. Yeah, E is not making him play the game at all. Nope. <laughs> And that's and we talked about this before. That's something E does very well. When he puts you in disadvantage, you eat damage for it. Like his punish game is very good. He may not kill you, but you're taking at least 40, 45 damage. It's in crazy each how E is still pressuring so much against the jewel. Mm -hmm. It's like he has no answers. Mm -hmm. All right. It's like he gets back on stage, but then E is like, no, get back. On stage. <laughs> that would do it. Yep. Great situation for E. You can see that um, every situation that he was able to put Jewel in disadvantage. He capitalized on it, either medium or heavy, <laughs> and yeah. and Jewel either lost a stock or took 45 damage. So yeah. uh, you're not gonna be able to be E, uh, giving him opportunities to put you in disadvantage like that. FT strange. Okay, so um, Jewel's having this much trouble with uh, landing, but going off for a stage that doesn't have any platforms. Yeah, oh, that's um, surprising. Because so in their in their winners bracket match, he did very well on battlefield. Yeah. And E opted to switch from Battlefield to the Kalos to the FD. Yeah, I think that was the plan there. But um, for this situation, he'll probably have to go landing on the uh, all the way off stage and make it back on the ledge, just mm -hmm. so he can land. All right, nonetheless, this is going to be this is even right now. Um, now in the last match, in the in the beginning of the first stock, you saw Jewel play the more aggressive approach, and. Um, it worked for a little while, but he kind of adapted to that and was able to wall him out. Now you can see he's kind of picking his spots a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Yeah, he's throwing out hitboxes, but like he was just trying to find an opening and throw a ham on Jewel. <laughs> yep. Um, Jewel is so okay. good at like the rec uh, his awareness in terms of his of his book, his arts, and his Levin sword. Yeah, his item gameplay is sick. Yeah, he knows it. Oh, you have no jump. He's gonna go ham for it? Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Good make. job. <laughs> the, uh, the second hit is like behind him. And yeah. yeah. It still set him. You, okay, sure. Oh, yeah. You would have thought that it would send him to the stage, but it didn't. But that spike wow. coming in clutch for E right there. Not this whole game's even. Why the back so, so greatly? Mm. And even with the fade back, he was able to connect with that. Um, he was able to connect with the. Um, <laughs> what was that? The uh, up tilt. Up tilt, yeah. Yeah. All right, gets a jab here. Uh, it's like Jewel just wants to uh, overextend, so that way he can be uh, left and be more pressured. Oh, he was going to hard. That was there. scary. 
Okay. I, I see what Jules is looking for. Like he's trying to catch East Landing, but like Robin's box, uh, run speed is so so it's the worst one in the game. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> gets a back air. He has no book. Nice. He's using the second time to make it back on stage. He's stalling for as much as he can, good so the book will come back. Yep. Good way. I like that. Like the back nice. air, that would do it. Yeah. Kind of committed with that dancing blade, and it's uh, if you, I believe the upward third variation is the least laggy of them all, and he did the forward variation third hit, which is very laggy. Yeah. Oh, now this is gonna be a jewel's trap here. All right, this gets it down to the nair. Uh huh. Arc fire is coming in here. Close the books at him. That's it. That's it. That is a good position for Jewel to be at. If he can uh. Even maybe if he gets touched once or twice by E without dying, gets a little bit more rage, he is in a very, very bad oh, this situation. Is dangerous. Even this is dangerous. now, even now this is a bad situation for E. Throwing out all the hitboxes here. There That's it. Is. it. There That's it the is. setup that everyone just What do you do? Nice. It's like literally Simon and Victor. Yep. So went up the uh the fire and then bam. Yep. You'd have to it almost feels like you'd have to roll right when the next uh arc fire is coming out or whatever that is, yeah. <laughs> is coming out, just so your frame advantage is plus for you to get out. Because if you go too late, uh, Jewel or Robin still has frame advantage and you get grabbed or you get jabbed. You're right. So it, it's a bad situation to be in. There's also what you could do is maybe wait up for the arc fire to burn out. Mm -hmm. It's like keep keep making them abuse the fire yeah. until they run out. But the thing is, every well, when he does that, um, Jewel is really good at placing it right at the edge, where if your invul invulnerability runs out, yeah. you get hit anyways. So, like... I think the last really hit good. of the arc fire is, is important. Uh-huh. Like, because he, he, I don't think he could even follow up after the, the last arc fire hit. Mm -hmm. Just so long as you're DIing away, so he won't be able to follow it up. All right, mm. so this is going to be uh, Town of City. This is uh, currently 1-1, one, uh, one, one, so this yeah. is game 3. I guess, uh, okay. Two up there. Nice. This is what E likes. Yeah. And you see E playing a, a more aggressive uh, Lucina right now. 85% sitting on Jewel already, just 20 seconds into the match. This is, uh, I think this is probably better in both of their favors. But, uh, I mean, there's so much space you can run up now. Oh, Ooh, it's dangerous. All right, makes him back. They didn't get the punish on that RB. Yeah, and that's the first time we saw E uh, go for a fair instead of a down air at the at the ledge over there. That was scary. 150, that uh, Sarah spot yeah, fair, but the nair, uh, that's going to do it. 32% in on E. This is a really good place for E to be at. Yeah. All right, he gets a down throw to uh, Bear. He's still going to go aggressive on Jewel. Like, Jewel has, like, no answer to this. Mm -hmm. He's trying to find like a way to get, just get in and, and uh, be aggressive. Yeah, he, and he's adapted. Like he, he came out guns blazing in this match, and that's not what he did last match. So J Jewel has to adapt to this style of East play, and it looks like he hasn't done it yet. It's almost like uh, there are some flops that Jewel uh, is making in neutral, where he was trying to make a follow up or make a read, of what he's doing. But mm -hmm. Jewel always decides to go for reads. Yeah. Um, but sometimes it can not end up in his favor, or that he's like in uh, the wrong placement. Like he's he's close, but like can't punish it afterwards. Yeah. All right. And I think in this in this situation in the neutral, he is doing a good job of uh, stuffing um, Jewel before he even gets in. Right. And that's not. Oh my goodness. Oh. This isn't looking good. He yeah. looking really sharp right now. As you said before, Jewel can still make a comeback. He yeah. has on this situation yeah. before. Even tonight. He's Made a three stock comeback, so uh, let's see what he has in the tank for E. 25% in on him now. He doesn't want to take too much more damage. Like, he has to take this stock now. Yeah. Oh, had he had the 11 sword, it would have been it. Mm, okay, now he's reversing this edge guard. Okay. Scary. He doesn't uh, punish that roll, but opts to keep stage control, which seems like the right decision. Um, just putting Jewel in a situation where he doesn't feel comfortable. You could tell the movement isn't as sharp from Jewel right now. Uh, he's not doing as many B reverses. He's not uh, uh, baiting anything out. He just doesn't really know what to do. Yeah, he just went, ooh. Uh, he dropped shield. Oh, that might be that, it. Yeah. No, he has a jump. Oh, oh. He did have a jump. Jesus but that down there. Him. Gonna do it. Yep. Oh, tree stocked. Yep. Oh, right, he well, played yeah. super solid that last game. Super solid. That was devastating to watch. If yeah, he plays like that, 
this uh, in this grand final set, we might see a reset, man. I'm he confident. Is, he, he is playing really not. solid right now. <laughs> oh, I guess.